Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be what's in my travel nail bag. I have done a video on my travel nail bag, I'd say maybe about a year ago, but I recently went on a nine day cruise. So I wanted to share with you guys the nail polishes that I took with me on my cruise and then all of the items that I took with me to do my manicures and everything while I was on my cruise. Just so you guys can see if you're curious on what items I take with me whenever I travel. I do use the same bag and pretty much the same items every time I go on a trip. If it's a weekend trip or even if it's like a two week trip, I love using this bag. So I did purchase this bag from Target. I will try and link it below if I see it. They may not necessarily have the same design. This pretty much has like a pair of lips. This does match my travel makeup bag, which I am going to do a what's in my travel makeup bag for this week's upcoming makeup basket. I want to show you guys what I traveled with. So stay tuned for that video or I may do it a little bit early on this week. The reason I love this bag is because it does have two compartments here and they both have like a little zip top but it doesn't really seem like it fits all that much but it really does fit a lot in here. So I'll quickly go through the items that I use kind of like for maintenance. So the first thing I like to bring with me is a travel nail polish remover. This is my favorite one. This is the Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus Nail Polish Remover. I get one of these pretty much every single time I buy a collection off the Zoya website or if I spend over, I think it's like $30, you get one of these for free. So I have several of these smaller bottles. I will refill this if I have to, but if I'm going to go on a long trip, I like to bring just a brand new um, sealed one. This is all that I used on this nine-day cruise alone. So as you can tell, and I change my nail polish every other day on the cruise or every day on the cruise. And as you can tell, I didn't necessarily use that much of this product. This is two fluid ounces. Then I take my yellow buffing block. This is a, the finest grit that you can find at uh, Sally's Beauty Supply. I bring my e.l.f. Uh, cleanup brush. This is my favorite. Cleanup brush is only a dollar. I bring a few of these like cotton pads either to remove nail polish or I really like to use this as kind of like my cleanup pad whenever I'm using the nail polish remover and then I'll wipe it off on here. So I brought a few of those with me. My favorite nail file is a glass nail file. I purchased a pack of these off of Amazon. Again, I'll try and link everything down below. I always bring some type of cuticle oil um, with me and I really, really love these from KB Shimmer. This is a cuticle oil pen. There's several Several companies that make these cuticle oil pens but I particularly like these for travel and I don't have to worry about the oil spilling or getting all over my travel bag. I brought some nail glue with me just in case one of my nails decided to break on the side and I don't want to just cut it off. I brought a pair of nail clippers with me. My favorite base coat that I love using is the Nail Takes Formula 2. I've talked about this several times in nail favorites videos and also in my current nail care routine. The current top coat I'm using right now is from Glisten and Glow and this is the HK Girl Fast Drying and Super Shiny Clear Top Coat. I've really been liking this top coat. And then the last things I bought were some cotton balls and then five of these little clips. If you guys have seen my How to Remove Glitter Nail Polish or maybe some of my favorites, I've mentioned these before. I buy a pack of 10 of them for about a dollar or two dollars on Amazon and this is my favorite way to remove nail polish. I use that for both my glitter nail polish and for my cream nail polishes so really really inexpensive way to remove nail polish that's essentially how I remove my nail polish every single time and so all of those items fit into just one side of this compartment and the compartments are a little bit bigger kind of bulkier on the bottom and it gets slimmer towards the top but you can still fit a really nice amount of products in there and pretty much what I like to do is the entire other side of my nail polish bag or my travel bag is where I put all of my nail polishes this was able to fit one two three four five six seven eight 
eight. I had eight nail polishes that I brought with me on this trip. Depending on how many nail polishes you travel with, you know, if you only wanna travel with two or three, you could potentially fit more items on this side of the bag. I started off the trip wearing one of my favorite nail polishes, and this is Blueberry Acai from 90 Lacquer. This is from the, oh, I can't remember the name of it, like the Smoothie Bar Collection, I believe it was called, or Tropical Smoothie Collection, or something Smoothie Collection. And I definitely wanted to wear this one because this has been one of my favorite nail polishes in the summertime. It's this beautiful blue nail polish with some black shard glitters. I also brought two of my favorite colors from that collection. I believe there's six colors in the collection. This one is Pineapple Punch, which is essentially China Glaze's Celtic Sun, except that you don't have to wear a white base with this, and it has black shard glitters. And then this one I wore on my first day. So we had three port stops. The first one was in Bermuda, and this one is called Mango Sunrise because I went to this beach called Horseshoe Bay Beach, and it was supposed to have pink sands. Well, it did have pink sand and really beautiful clear waters, and I just wanted to wear something that would look really nice in the sun. So I decided to wear that to the very first port. The next polish that I wore, I actually used this at the second port that I stopped at, and that was in Nassau in the Bahamas. And this is Glam Polishes Ice Palace. I love this nail polish. This is one of my favorite blue nail polishes, and it pretty much has a whole different variety of blue metallic glitters in here. So you have dark navy blue glitters, light blue, kind of like an aqua blue, then it goes all the way to like this silvery white holographic metallic glitters. It's just a beautiful blue glitter bomb on your nails. And this looked absolutely beautiful in the water because in the second port, we went snorkeling. <laughs> and I was so distracted whenever we were snorkeling because of this nail polish because it would just catch the light underneath the water it looks so beautiful. I really wish I could have taken pictures or I had like an underwater camera just to show you guys how beautiful this nail polish looked. But this was a great pick for me when I went snorkeling. I loved wearing this nail polish. Another polish I decided to bring along because I thought it would look really great at the beach. This is Aroyo, A-R-R-O-Y-O. -R -R -O. This is from Virago Varnish. This was part of one of their like chrome or metallic collections. It was like a limited edition collection. I think it had six polishes in the collection. And I just really love the shade of this. It's like this pink, but it pulls a little bit on the purple side. Beautiful chrome nail polish, fully opaque in one coat. I tend to do two coats, even if it's a one coater, because if you do too thin of a coat, then it could chip really easily. I like keeping it at an even two coat plus the top coat and it seems to wear a lot longer. And then one of the nail polishes I took with me that was simply to wear with a particular outfit is Royal from 90 Lacquer. I want to say this was one of her limited edition polishes that came out for Polish Con. I'm not entirely sure, but it's this purple base with a whole bunch of gold shimmer in there. And that gold shimmer is very, very apparent. And with that purple jelly base, sometimes that gold shimmer looks a little bit on the like bronzy, like purplish bronzy side and this I took because I was going to wear a dress for one of the dinners. So my husband and I had two specialty restaurants during the cruise because it is it was our anniversary like vacation that we take every single year and I wanted to wear this with the dress that I picked out for our anniversary dinner at one of the specialty restaurants. So that's the reason I picked this one out. I'm sure there's several dupes for this one but I just really like the formulation of it and it was the perfect tone for that dress that I wore because my dress was kind of like a purplish dress the same color purple and it had some gold accents on it so that was perfect for my dress and then the last polishes that I wore on the trip it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails today I did come back yesterday from my trip this video should be up on Monday so I came back on Saturday and this was what I wore um, for the last day of the cruise there's like a formal night that they do where they do like kind of a farewell um, during dinner for the cruise so I wanted to wear something that was not only very like bright and summery 
memory, but also a very elegant. And so I wore a combination. This is from Kale Polish and it's called Magic City. And it's the cream polish I'm wearing on my nails. It's kind of like this reddish orange, essentially a dupe for OPI's Cajun Shrimp. And then as my accent nail, I wore Cupcake Polish Lord Licorice. And this is from the Candyland collection. It's essentially a super holographic red nail polish. And this is what I'm wearing on my nails. I have on Cajun Shrimp and then Lord Licorice on my accent nail. And I love the combination of these two. So that's it. That's everything that I have here in my little travel makeup bag. I know I wasn't able to post um, too much last week. I don't think I had any videos up last week because I just didn't have enough time to pre-record videos for you guys. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to have any videos, but I should be back into my normal filming schedule. So I should have videos up for you guys on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So please don't forget to subscribe or please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.